Hi, and welcome to the Giddy Hen. I'm Debbie of Debbie's Rusty Brush, and I am a Giddy Hen. Today, we're going to paint this billy goat. We're going to first start with the background. We're going to learn how to add layers to make texture, and then we're going to put the billy goat on top. So come along with me, and let's get started. For the first layer of this background, I'm going to layer this blue onto the canvas. Now I'm taking some leftover orange paint and just randomly putting it on the blue just to get it used up and to make it part of my background. It'll add interest. Now I've got this yellow-green mixture. It's left over from another project as well. I'm just going to put it on in different patterns throughout this background. Again, to add interest and some texture. Now I'm going to use some red straight out of the tube and put it on randomly as well. Now I've watered down some white paint and I'm just going to add some splatters to the background. So I'm using a black paint marker to just add some random lines and spots. And now I've got a teal blue color that I'm going to put in here and there. It will add some extra texture and color as well. I did let the background dry in between some of these steps so that the color didn't mix and muddy on me. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding a coat of chalk paint. The reason I'm using chalk paint is because I'm not doing this over a number of days. If I was doing this over a number of days, I would do several layers and then I would sand in between and bring out different colors, different textures of each layer. Because I'm doing this all in one day, I'm using chalk paint because I don't have to let the paint completely cure, it just dries. Then I take a wet wipe and wet sand to bring those layers back through and to bring the interest back out of the background. Now I'm adding a bit more color to the background to get it to be exactly what I want. Normally I would do this over a number of days and I would let the canvas speak to me and tell me what it wanted to have on it. But because I'm doing this for video purpose, I'm doing it all in one day and so I'm adding some layer on top to get the canvas to have the interest and color and pizzazz that I want it to have. Okay, so here we are. We're starting our billy goat now, and I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the speed painting, and if I have something to say, I'll pop back in and let you know what's on my mind. Have fun!
Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed painting it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, remember to subscribe and tap that little bell so that you always get notifications of when I put videos up. Have a good day.